Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today we're going to be doing some holiday appetizers. And around my house, we have sausage and cheese balls all the time. This week, I'm going to show you how I do a spicy version out on the smoker. I've got some hot and spicy breakfast sausages that we're going to be using. We've got some Fresno peppers that we've diced up for some extra heat. We're going to get it all combined and get it on the grill. Let's get to cooking. So to put these spicy sausage balls together, we're starting with the large bowl and I've got one pound of hot sausage. To that, I'm adding two cups of Bisquick baking mix. We've got eight ounces of cream cheese and eight ounces of extra sharp cheddar. And you wanna be sure to shred that cheddar cheese yourself because the pre-shredded stuff just doesn't melt as well. We're gonna add those Fresno peppers to give us that spicy kick. For the green, we've got a little bit of dried parsley going in. Then we've got some onion powder and some Killer Hogs AP rub to give it a savory balance. We're just going to use our hand and some gloves and we're going to combine all of this. Really work it together till it forms kind of a meat dough. And it's going to look like this. You can see how the sausage, the cheese, the peppers, it's all incorporated together in the bowl and it's kind of formed into a dough. Now we're going to roll it out into our sausage balls. And what I've got is just a three quarter ounce scoop. So we're just getting a scoop of the sausage mixer, putting it in my hand, rolling it just a little bit to form it into a ball, going right on the pan. And you don't have to have the scoop but it really makes portioning out the sausage balls really easy. Doesn't matter if they're not all perfect. That's the whole beauty of it. So I've got my Traeger Timberline fired up for this cook. I'm running at 400 degrees. You can do this on any grill. You just really want indirect heat. And since we're baking these spicy sausage balls, we need that 400 degree heat. The cast iron is really going to help it transfer really well. We're just going to set our skillet right in the center of the Traeger. Then we're going to get the lid closed and we're just going to keep an eye on them. It's going to take 15, 20 minutes at 400 to get these fully cooked. Then I'm going to show you how we're going to serve them. All right, we're about 10 minutes in. And what I like to do is come in and flip the sausage balls over now. So they'll kind of cook on both sides even, get a little crispy. They're looking good. They're starting to brown, firming up a little bit. Now we're just gonna rotate them around, get them cooking even, get the lid closed and set another timer. All right, it's been about 20 minutes on these spicy sausage and cheese balls. And this is what you wanna see. They're starting to brown up really well. We flipped them over. They've drawed up a little bit. I mean, they're ready. I need to get them off at this point. A little bit of grease cooks out of them, but it's going to because of that fatty sausage that we put in it. That is what I call a holiday appetizer. Let's get these over to the cutting board. So now I'm just getting them off the iron skillet getting them in a bowl, and this is how I would serve them at a party, for breakfast, for brunch, heck, anytime. This is about enough for me. But these sausage and cheese balls like this are highly addictive, and they are so good and easy to make. This is really a quick appetizer. It'll take you as long to get the stuff together and get it mixed up than it will it cook. I mean, it was like 15, 20 minutes. They were brown to perfection. And I'm gonna serve these with a little dipping sauce. I've got some of Captain Rodney's peach bouquet glaze. You can serve them with the honey mustard. Anything you like that's kind of sweet and tangy would go great with the sausage balls. Let's get one out here. And you can see the Fresno peppers, the cheddar cheese, a little bit of the parsley in it. It's got a beautiful color. It just says holidays. Down on that Captain Rodney's. Oh, I know it's gonna be hot, but it's gonna be oh so good. Woo. Mmm. Cooked through and through, cheesy. Sausagey, a little bit of bready from the biscuit mix. That peppers gives it a nice pop. I love the sweetness of the Captain Rodney's. Man, it, man, that's good. Mm. These aren't gonna make it to the party. Hey, you got to make several batches of these because they're gonna go so fast, people are gonna be begging you for the recipe. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be putting out videos all next year. We thank y'all for your support. You can download the app if you wanna keep up with us. We also have the podcast where we're recapping our videos and just what's going on in our life. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at How to Barbecue Right. We'll see y'all next time. Happy holidays. You can't serve these. Folks, we want to move in, Shell.